So in today's video, I want to show you how you could spy on your competitor's ad within Google so we can actually see what our competitors are running for their advertising. So whether you want to run shopping ads, search ads, display ads, we can see what the competitors are running and then we can use that for inspiration to improve what we're doing. So the key to Google, and I believe this to be true, is what's working, we're going to leave that to run. And what isn't, whether that be headlines, descriptions, keywords, we're looking then to date those. And that's the key. We can look outside of what we know already. So as advertisers, potentially, we may not have thought of everything. So by looking at what competitors or even looking at bigger brands, bigger brands who are spending millions upon millions, then potentially they may have structured things differently. Features, advantages, benefits, call to action, images, videos, a little bit of humor may be thrown in to be a little bit different. We can look at inspiration through others. And then from there, we're not looking to copy, but we're looking to slightly adjust what we're doing to improve what we want, which is going to give us a better click through rate, conversion rate. And ultimately, the most important thing is to get us more of what we want, which is going to be the conversions. And this is the same for lead generation as well as e commerce. So we're looking to improve what we're doing. And this is one of the easiest ways. This is one of the shortcuts. It's, it's all about modeling. So you know, if you're from, I'm from a psychology background and modeling is just about finding people who are getting what are doing, what they, what we want. And we model that behavior to kind of shortcut to get years into months, into weeks. And then we get to that destination quicker. And it's the same principle here. We can model good behavior. And how do we know what good behavior is? Well, for Google, and the same is going to be for other platforms. If an ad, tends to be running for a long period of time, the chances are that it's going to be a successful ad. And it's the same thing. We're trying to model what's working, take inspiration, and then bring that into what we're doing, whether it's service-based, lead generation, e-commerce, whatever we're trying to achieve, we're looking for inspiration to improve what we're doing. And again, this is probably the easiest way. So let's jump into the Google Ads platform. Let me show you, first of all, where I start and then how we can then build upon this layer upon layer. So in the Google Ads platform, we can see we've got auction insights within a Google Ads. And then from here, we can see the local competitors. So this is where we are, the auction, when number one, we're getting 18%, which is just basically, I'm not going to go into all of this, what these mean, but basically 18% means that for every 100 people searching, we're showing just over 18%, putting us in number one position. But then we can see we've got competition below. So even though we might have competition below, remember a company like Angulan, angulanhome.co.uk, Checker Trade, My Job Quote, a national bark, a national company, companies that we're competing. So for them to be showing up, they're, they're spending probably 10, 20 times the budget that we're spending because they're doing this on a national level. So we can see what they're doing, take inspiration, and then from there we can continue to improve our advertising. So if we jump over now to the Transparency Center, so Google Ads Transparency Center. This is the free version of what I mentioned earlier. So in here, we can actually input a brand. So for this, I'm just going to put in Nike. So I've got this set for, um, let's jump over to, I'm going to put this to United States. So if I put United States, I'm going to put in Nike. So I just want to give you a, a kind of a, a good example Nike Inc., if I click on this, this will show all the Google ads that they've got running for Nike in the United States. And then from here, it's a little bit slow loading. But once it loads up, we can see all the ads that they're running. And again, we can see clearance, women's Nike Air Max shoes, uh, Nike, just do it. We know that saying. And then we can see that some of the images, um, we can see the different ways that they're promoting um, Nike official site, free shipping on orders over $75 plus. So again, different um, call to actions. We can see the different formats. They've got some reviews coming up here. Sale up to 40% off. It's coming to Black Friday. We know that. So um, we can see the kids, kids slip on shoes, night.com, get them geared up and ready to take on any activity and style. So again, um, images, you can see the different images that they've got. And again, as you come down, you can see all the ads that they're running. Um, if they've got videos running, then again. So what we're looking for is inspiration. Can we take anything from here? Um, and obviously then use that for our advertising to approve it. It doesn't have to be necessarily not, it could be any, any company that's in your space or your local competitor. So here, uh, if I look at the 
it tells you if I click on an ad here. So if I click on this particular ad, it will tell me when it was last seen and it's going to be November 18th, last seen format text. So we know text. And if I come to this section here, it says anytime or platforms here, I can actually see what ads they're running. So if I could click on the Google shopping, <clears throat> we can actually see what ads they're running for Google shopping. So here we can see the different ads that they've got running. And then if I come back up, if I wanted to then look at say the Google search, Again, click on the Google search and we can see the search campaigns that they've got running for their advertising. And again, we're using this as inspiration, looking at the way they've got their headlines, descriptions, and how they've got the, um, the site links, um, all the things that they've got running, trying to make the page as big as possible and the formats that they've got running. So again, we're using this as inspiration. Now, I've just jumped over to another company. I've just put in myproteam.com. And again, we can see, again, these guys are only running a few ads compared to Nike because Nike's obviously got a massive budget. But again, if we're in this particular space, we can see the different ways that the variants that they've got, lots of reviews, um, return policy, buy high quality supplements and clothing from UK's number one. So again, we can see the different formats up to 50% off uh, online. Oh, it's coming up to Black Friday as well. So they're probably pushing that quite hard. So obviously a lot more limited for what they're trying to achieve. But again, is the same type of thing. So what we're trying to say is that by putting in the company name, we can see the different advertising. We click on here. Is it going to show? Yes, it is. It was um, obviously not loading quite quite right. So these guys have actually got a lot more ads running. There we go. We can see a lot more. I was thinking that's a little bit strange because um, these guys normally have a lot of ads running. So here we go, up to 50% 50, 50 off main character energy um, demand from less. So again, if you're in this space, you can see that you could use this potentially for inspiration to improve what you're doing. So Nike, myprotein.com. And again, you could put in any company. So now what I want to do is actually jump into a free, uh, so this is the free tool. I'm going to show you how you could use a potential, um, again, a paid version, very, very cheap to use. But if you put in Nike.com, it will give you the keywords, estimate the monthly budget. This is not very accurate. So again, and it will give you um, Nike, it will give you some other competitors in the local market, um, give you some price budgets. Not a lot of detail here, but where I like to use this particular tool is if we come to ad history, it will tell you the ads that have been running the longest. Remember I mentioned that we're looking at ads that have been running for a long time. Now the chances are, if they've been running for a long time, they're going to be successful. So this is where we can start modeling and finding out exactly what ads are successful. So we can see here, we've got some um, time range. We've got some dates, date, ad position, date, December, uh, December 2018. And again, we can see the different ads that they've got running on the right hand side. So top ads, and it gives us different formats. Again, we can then model this behavior and then use this for what we're trying to do within our Google Ads. So again, if we click left, we can see the different ways that they've formatted the advertising. And again, if we come down, we can actually see the keywords that are targeting the ad. So if we come to say, let's come to uh, Nike by you, click on this ad, it will show you Nike is now by you shop shoes made for you. And again, you can see how they've got these um, links included date December 2023, ad position one, and this is how they've created it. And that's based on this particular keyword. Now take this with a pinch of salt. Um, this is quite good, but I use this only now and again. We need to make sure that we're sort of looking at the data. We're looking at the auction insights, but then from there, we're looking at all the other tools within Google. This is just purely as inspiration, looking at how we could potentially implement these for our ads to update headlines or descriptions. And then the keywords, again, we can look at keywords potentially. Are there any keywords that we could potentially add into what we're doing already? So again, this is a, this is a, a paid tool. You don't need this, but it's a tool that potentially you could use this to add in to what you're doing already, which is optimizing your Google ads. But then, like I said, you could use this as inspiration. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. If you've got Google ads running and you're wanting to have a chat with me regards to how you could potentially improve or get better advertising results, then I love to speak to potential clients and look at what you're doing. So if you wanted to 
fill out the form below, click on the Calendly link, and then we could set some time aside to actually look at what you're doing for your Google Ads. That's one of the things I like to do is just jump in, have conversations, look at how we can improve Google Ads, whether that's e-commerce or lead generation. So we've got a number of years of experience. We've been doing this for many, many years. And it's something that I enjoy doing is jumping on and looking how um, Google Ads are being created and the reasonings why. And then just by asking some simple, simple questions, there's normally very easy, simple ways that we can improve structure and results of Google Ads. But we need to understand why we're doing what we're doing. So have we got a search running, search shopping, search PMAX campaigns? Are we seeing the data correctly? Are we understanding? So the nuances for running good Google Ads is all about the data and understanding what that data means. So if that's something of interest, then I'd love to have a conversation with you. Fill out the link before and let's jump in and have a conversation. And again, if you want to look at this video, this goes into AI, how I created chat GPT using headlines and descriptions and using as inspiration based upon prompts. So again, if that's something of interest, click on the video above and hopefully that will help you to create better headlines and descriptions for your Google Ads.